There's a new hunting game coming out soon and it's going to be called Way of the Hunter. Thanks to the amazing people at the Way of the Hunter and the developer team, we receive early access to try out this incredible hunting game for the first time. So let's give it a try and welcome to Way of the Hunter. speaking hey grandpa i'm getting closer to the lodge your phone magically erased all the contacts again river nurse ellen was helping me with it but she said she doesn't know how these old-fashioned phones work i'll help you with it when you return oh i'm so grateful you decided to help me with the bear den ranch competition is growing every day ethically hunted meat with government inspection sounds like a pretty niche market uh, you'd be surprised but the demand is rising every day. And with the hoax about the disease spreading... Uh, what? I, I can't hear you. River, can you hear me better now? Yep, way better. The service in the valley is really bad, so I'll make it quick. I've sent you a package a day ago, but I'm not sure when it will arrive. Just make yourself at home and... Maybe greet your old friend Echo. You know, it's been a while. Oh god, I forgot about her. How long has it been? Ten years. I hope you didn't forget the keys. Oh god, I did. What should I do? <laughs> Don't worry. The spare is in the usual spot. <laughs> All right, I'm here. I'll call you later. And be nice to the nurses. We tell them to be nice to me. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go over here and we need to get the key from this mailbox. So let's get over there and grab the key from this mailbox so that way we can get into Grandpa's old hunting shack. All right, here's the mailbox. Let's open it <laughs> up. God we, have a we found the key. Million. Now we need to enter the lodge from the porch, which is actually over here. And this is a pretty neat little cabin. I don't know if you'd call it like a hunting shack. I would definitely say it's a, <laughs> yeah, it's a lodge. It's really, really cool. All right, let's enter. So this is where we're gonna be able to store equipment, items, vehicles, and storage. Welcome to your new home, the Bear Den Ranch. Here's where you can buy new items and equip them when you're on the road, need something, just open the trunk of your car. Oh, heck yeah, sounds good to me. All right, now we're gonna pick out some rifles, it looks like. We got grandpa's old rifle here. Looks to be a 30-30 lever action. Yeah, it is a 30-30. Whoa, check this out. We didn't even hunt this mule deer, but apparently... Oh, no, that must be from our grandpa. Our grandpa got that. That's cool. Check out this lodge. A really, really old, what looks to be a record player. I've honestly never seen one with the, like, horn type situation on that. Oh, can I actually change... It gave me an option to do something. Edit the taxidermy stand. Oh, there's a taxidermy stand. I didn't even see that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we can actually put a deer there. These are all plaques where we can put animals. That's going to be sweet. Look at all the plaques. This is going to be a big one here. Could probably put like a moose or an elk up there. And uh, anyways, let's continue on and get moving here. There's a lot of stuff to explore. Probably put a mountain lion or a bobcat or a wolf or some kind of big game. Full body type uh, stuff out here. That's going to be really cool. And let's get out here on the porch. Here we go. Use the binoculars to equip and press the right mouse button. So it looks like the right mouse, the right mouse button is going to be pretty much everything that we need as far as using the item and zooming in. So that's pretty cool. Uh, primary use of binoculars is to spot game from a distance. Um, if you spot animals... Using the binoculars, activate the hunter sense, press the Q button for extra information 
such as animal species, sex, age, approx approximate trophy score, and behavior. Age, young, adult, or mature. So, kind of similar to, what was that one called? Um, hunting simulator? Um, where you could get the young, adult, or mature. So you probably want to get mature for the biggest ones. Trophy score from star, oh, well, from one star all the way to five stars with most of the animals. Behavior animal change, their behavior from calm to noticing a threat to reacting to a threat, which usually tends in them running away. Species name for less experienced hunters. This is a possibility to learn visual differences between animal species. Some binoculars also allow for measuring distance. Now I did see that some of the, not necessarily binoculars, but some of the rifle scopes actually do have range finders on them, which is going to be super epic. Now we got to figure out how to get the binoculars out. Looks like we can toggle. We use the uh, mouse wheel on our mouse and we can toggle through. Whoa, I figured out how to grab our rifle. That's the first time we ever grabbed our rifle, but that's not what we need right now. We're trying to find our binoculars. Here we go. We busted out the binox. We do, in fact, have a range finder of 510 yards. <gasps> Are you seeing this? Look at the range. We're seeing all the way out to 900 yards here. Oh my God. 1,000. Okay. And can we zoom in? I don't think we can zoom in. Okay, that's the one thing. We can't zoom in with the binoculars. Looks like they're fully zoomed in. But we can always get a new pair of binoculars that um, zoom in probably a little bit more than this. But for the most part, this looks pretty impressive. And take a look what we have out there, guys. Look what we have. I'm definitely seeing a buck. That one out there is a nice buck. I can't tell if it's a mule deer or a whitetail, but it's definitely a nice buck out there at about 630 yards. Holy, that's a long ways. Another buck right there. You can tell it's definitely a buck because of the way it's walking. You can see he's got the big, uh, wide front shoulder stance as he's walking compared to these little more feminine type. And these are definitely going to be the does. All right, so we got that. Now, what are we supposed to do at this point? We're going to press the O button and find out what our objective is. Use the binoculars to glass highlighted checkpoints. All right, let's get this party started. Use the binoculars to glass highlighted checkpoints, leading you to Echo. Now, I'm thinking we just follow. Oh. Jackpot. That was pretty cool. So can we jump? Can we jump down here without falling? I mean, it would speed up the process quite a bit, but uh, we're going to find out. Oh, we're still alive. Definitely took a hit, though. All right. So we did hurt herself. Use common sense. <laughs> To determine whether the height you are jumping from can hurt you or not. Hey, jumping off a mountain <laughs> definitely will. Drowning. How long can you hold your breath for? It doesn't matter because entering deep water with all that gear will definitely hurt you. Or hurt you too. Uh, vehicle crash. Like your vehicle, you aren't indestructible. Bigger collisions will cause major damage to you. Animal charge. Some animals will protect themselves not only by running away, but sometimes by running at you. Depending on the size of the animal. This can gravely wound you. Okay. So we'll try and be careful of that. Okay. So we've checked the map several times here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over here. And we're going to attempt to get our first deer down. There they are right there. All right. Here we go. We got deer right on top of us. And those are mule deer. One of them's a nice buck. In fact, there actually might be two nice bucks over there. Those are all does. There's a young buck. We want to try and get the mature one. We're crouched right now because we're definitely in position to where they could sense us. There's a the mature buck. It's actually kind of difficult to tell which one the big one is right now. Unless there's another buck back there. Or potentially. That's got to be him. It's got to be the one right behind that doe. Alright, so our buck just bedded down right there. 110 yards away from us. 
Now he's behind that cover there. The good thing is, I love the fact that there's so much cover on this map and you can actually use it in your advantage. Oh my God, he's stepping out right there. He's 100 yards out, he's definitely in range. All we gotta do is wait for him to stand up. And when he does, we're gonna be able to take the shot. But for now, we gotta be extremely, extremely patient. Wow, he's a really nice wide, wide buck. I believe he's a three by. No, he is a four by. He's got brow tines. All right, let's bust out our rifle. Cause he's definitely in range. All right, we're zoomed in all the way. He's standing up. It's gonna be our chance. Oh, I hit the wrong button, I hit the wrong button. I forgot, I was trying to hit the uh, hold breath button. We're going for the shot. It should have been perfect. We drilled him. We definitely drilled that buck. And I think he went down because I didn't see him run. Nope, those are all does and a small buck. Got some more deer over there. Those might actually be white tail. It's kind of hard to tell from this distance here. But they're about 300 plus out there. That's pretty cool. Now, what was that? Is that where we shot our deer? Neil deer, they drink here. All right, so they were definitely right here somewhere. Now we got to figure out where our buck went. And right here is going to be a pretty good indication on where our buck went. We got blood. It's saying blood rate medium. But guess what? That is not a bad sign. He ran this way. Is that him down right there? Oh my god, we found him. Here he is down right here. Our first buck. Man, he didn't go 50 yards. For some reason, there's not like tons of blood. So I don't know if we hit him a little far back when he was walking or what. But we do in fact have dark red blood. So that could indicate that we probably hit him in the liver. He was walking. Nonetheless, here he is, our first deer in Way of the Hunter. Let's pick him up. All right, let's take a look at our shot. And look, we hit him right in the liver. Oh my God, I was actually right. That is so cool. So he was walking towards us. And the problem is when I took the shot, I hesitated a little bit too long because I tried to hold my breath and I hit the stand up button because I'm not used to the controls here. And we got him just a touch back. Looks like we still did in fact catch lung and liver. We got the back of the lung and then we hit liver and intestine. So a quartering shot like that, ideally you'd want to be a little more around here. But nonetheless, our shot, I mean, he didn't go very far at all. The shot was 100 yards out and uh, 16 feet per second of wind, 30-30. Let's see, penetration 784, cavity damage 849. And here we go. We could either sell him or mount him. And if we mount him, then we don't get any money. If we sell him, we get some money. So I can zoom in, turn him around. I kind of want to take a look at his rack. Um, but, uh, what does this do? Nothing. So what I'm trying to figure out, oh, this is what I'm trying to figure out right here. Overview. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Here we go. So you can see it was in fact the mature buck. We did in fact hit him in the liver at 1230, partly cloudy. The shot was a 76.38% accurate. And he weighed 335 pounds. But hunt rating, hunt rating of uh, five stars, difficulty adventurer, trophy rating of two stars. So he wasn't the biggest of the bucks, but he was definitely a mature. And for our first buck, that's pretty cool. Let's scroll into this hunt. Um, you only went 60 yards. So yeah, if you make a liver shot, they don't go very far. So that's super, super accurate. I love that fact. We tracked him for 12 minutes. 
Um, he lost one pound. 1.45 pounds. That is so cool. Do you guys see this? So initially, he weighed 335.74 pounds. But he ran and he lost blood. So he lost 1.45 pounds of blood. That's super, super cool. So now he ends up weighing 334 pounds. And the market price is 1.5 per... Uh, <clears throat> So now he ends up weighing 334.29 pounds and the market price is 1.5 per pound. So we're going to sell him. But let's check one more thing. Trophy. Here we go. Length of main beam. Length of bifurcated tines. Whatever the heck that means. Length of typical points. Spread of main beams. So 0.4. 48. Uh, total of 321. That's kind of where you get some of your score, I guess. So maybe that's your overall score, 321. I want to write this down so then we can compare it to the next one that we get, 321. All right, and it was a decent buck, not a giant, but definitely a decent, decent buck. And I don't think we can spin it anymore from this point on. So yeah, awesome. First deer is down. Let's sell it. One thing I noticed is you cannot click on these. You can't click. You have to hit the button that it says to. So we have to actually you don't even have to click it. You have to hold it. See that? You have to hold the C all the way through until it gets to this point here. And then it will continue on. There we go. So we sold it. Fitness gene pool. Each animal has a fitness value which affects its trophy and size of the animal. Pay close attention to it because you can change the average fitness of the habitat by hunting low trophy score males and vice versa cool i mean just take a look at this beautiful incredible view from here i would love to actually try and take a shot from here that's where the mule deer were when we first spotted them right down there 600 yards there's the bridge so i'm thinking there might be some more deer down here drinking But let's not waste any more time. Let's get inside. And go look at this little map in the office. There it is. All right, now you we're inspecting the map. Whispers Valley Grassland Habitat. Open country for beginners and seasoned veterans alike. The meadows serve as prime it's such a feeding beautiful areas lodge, for isn't both it? pheasants and badgers. Undisturbed grasslands with tall grass have the potential to hold a lot of small, but also some bigger game. All right, so we finished inspecting the map. Now it says to enter the car, Echo. I wonder if Echo is the car? And I'm also wondering why I have these marks on my map down over here. Like, I didn't put those there. I deleted them and then I added them back because I thought it had something to do with the next mission or objective, I should say. All right, now we got to find the car, which is actually a Jeep. Yep, here it is. So I have a question. If you have a Jeep, do you call it a car or a truck? Because I would call it a truck. I don't know. It's just me. All right, here we go. We're in the truck. Now follow the road from the lodge, which will take you to a crossing near a bridge. Do I hit tab to figure out more information? Okay, here we go. WSD, E, um, space is break. The camera can be changed by pressing C. Okay, so C. The vehicle is loud. If you are lost, if you lost your car somewhere or just want to have it closer, you can always recall it from the computer in the lodge. Okay, so you can go um, to the lodge on the computer and then you'll get your vehicle back. That's cool. All right, here we go. Real hunting trivia. When hunting in any given area, the use of a motor vehicle while shooting is illegal. A hunter cannot be traveling on a vehicle while hunting, nor can they use the vehicle in any way to attempt to bring down an animal. It is also unlawful to discharge a firearm and or bow from a vehicle with the intent to take wildlife. Yes, that's true. And that is true. Dude, we got a horn. We got a horn. Oh, epic. And we got lights. 
Oh, what? What? We're coming through. Move! Move! All right, let's figure out where in the heck we're supposed to go now. Follow the road, which will take you to the crossing near a bridge. Which? Do I go that way? I feel like I gotta follow that arrow on the map every time. I always have to look towards this arrow. Okay, so we're going here. We gotta get to here. If I could mark that. There we go. That'll work. I'll mark that. I kinda wanna remove these marks, to be honest. Because, uh. I don't know why they're there. I mean, I really don't. Maybe we can go there after. But for now, it's like super confusing. You know what I mean? Okay, so now that makes sense. Now we have a mark on our compass and we have a mark for us to be able to follow. But where's the road that goes that way? Is it this road here? Or do I go that way? Dude, this thing sounds freaking amazing. Oh my god, I love this. And the steering is so good. Look at the mud tires on that thing too. What a beast. so good. It's probably crazy loud for you guys. I just thought about that. <laughs> yeah, that's super loud. supposed to cross the river no are you kidding me dude check this out we're going across the friggin river oh. how how is this happening like how is there such a cool game that we can cross the river in a truck oh that's what's up that's why we have the mud tires Oh, yeah, just like that, all the way across. Dude, that was awesome. I love this vehicle. Follow the road, take the first turn on the right towards the end of the ice park. It's gonna be this road. Oh my god, look at the deer! Dude, get your rifle, get your rifle! Let's see if we can make a shot. Yep, not happening. This is what I was looking for. Sighting in is a process necessary to getting a rifle and optics tuned in for accuracy. Put simply, it means aligning the place you are aiming with at the spot the bullet will hit. Now this may sound complicated, but bear with us. Practically it works like this. If a firearm is dis if a firearm is sighted at a certain distance, the hunter should be aiming at targets at a similar distance if possible. In such case, the bullet will land exactly where the sights show it should. There are two ways to achieve this in the game, zeroing. So there is in fact zeroing in this game. Zeroing is the basic form of sighting in. To zero in a further distance, press the up button. Now, it's not necessarily the up button, because I already pressed that button. So I'm trying to figure out what button it actually is. Um, while zoomed in. So you have to be zoomed in. Press the up for... A further distance and press the down for a shorter distance. I'm gonna have to try and figure that out. We'll figure that out. Aiming. When shooting at a distance of 50 meters with the firearm sighted in for 100 meters, the bullet will fly higher than the target, which means you should aim lower to compensate for that offset. That is so cool. I love the fact that everything is based off of real life. If you shoot at a distance of 150 meters with the firearm sighted in for 100, the bullet will fly lower. Therefore, you must aim higher to compensate for the offset. That's why I always say compensate. Every time I'm hunting, I'm saying I gotta compensate for the drop or compensate for the raise, the bullet height. This distance can either be measured with binoculars or estimated by experience. That's what I use, experience. Hold your breath. Once aiming while zoomed in, hold the press. Okay, see, here's what I'm saying. You gotta hold and press the up button, but this is two different things. This is the up button and this is like a up 
triangle thing, but I don't know where the up triangle thing is on my keyboard here. I really don't. Um, yeah. I have a left and right button, but I don't have a up. Unless it's this number here on my on my numpad, my number pad. I don't know. But anyways, um, press the up arrow. This will stabilize your shot and will give you the window of opportunity to take a breath. So the up arrow will hold your breath while zooming in and the up button will uh, zero in for a higher or shorter distance. Um, farther or shorter distance. All right, so I guess we're gonna figure out where that button is from right here. Got a couple of nice 3D targets set out here. Or I should say silhouette targets. And we're going to start for a 50 yard shot here and try and figure this out. Adjust it for 50 yards. Boy, I really don't know. How to. It's the same button. What? It's the same button. Dude, you're freaking kidding me. You can zero in for 874 yards? What is this? What? Oh my God. Uh, how? I can zero in from 50 all the way to 874 yards. That is so cool. But to be able to hold your breath, you hit the same button, but you just hold it. Wait, no, that's not it. That didn't work. Okay, so then how do I hold my breath? I wonder why I made such a bad shot on that buck, because I wasn't actually holding my breath, and I think I accidentally zeroed in for a further distance. Okay, we got to figure this out. How do I hold my breath here? To the shift button? Whoa. What does that do? I'm already zoomed. It's gotta be the shift button. Whatever that is, that's freaking awesome. Bullseye. Vitals hit. Bullseye. Be a good shot. Now I'm supposed to zero in for 160? Woo! Heart shot! Alright, I want to see where we actually did hit. You can see our shots are pretty much right on the money there. 50 yards. Now we're going to go for a shot out here at 160 and see where we hit. So then, we have to press the up button to 100, 160. There we go. All right, this is actually really important. It just popped up right here and it's gonna talk about the animal damage system, injury and bleeding. Big game has the following organs which are taken into consideration when damage is calculated. You got the brain, spine, heart, lungs, artery, liver, stomach, intestines, flesh, bone, and skull. The result of a shot depends on the energy and trajectory of the bullet during the impact and further on. When an animal is hit, it will always bleed. The color of the blood will tell you which organs have been hit. Brain and spine, red, heart and lungs and artery is pink. So that's what we want. We wanna get pink blood. Liver, dark. That's the blood that we saw. That's why I knew it was liver. Dark crimson, like crimson talon. Um, stomach and intestine is gonna be red with green mixed in it. Man, that's gonna be so cool. Not to hit an intestine shot, but to see the fact that you actually have realistic looking blood if you do get an intestine hit. Bone and flesh will be just red. That means that you're probably not gonna get the animal. The bullet should always hit the target with optimal energy. This means the bullet penetration is deep enough and causes a large enough cavity that delivers sufficient damage to the target. The desired result is the most painless and fastest um, dispatch. Ethical shooting helps achieve and quick painless. Um, I can't really say that word because harvest. The animal does not suffer and harvest near the place of the hit. 
It also is easier for the hunter to find and harvest it. That's so funny. It says harvest. Now I just, I use that word to replace something. And then now I'm using the exact same word for what it really means. It is advised to use the proper caliber at reasonable range. It is also best to aim for the heart lungs as vital shots are considered the most effective. Awesome. That's some really good information right there. I love this fact. I love the fact that you literally have red blood, pink blood, dark crimson blood, which I mean, I know what dark means, but crimson, that's so cool that they use that word to, de to describe it. Red, green blood, and then just red blood. But what's confusing here is you got red from brain and spine, and then you also have red from getting, um, you know, like a flesh hit. So, but I guess here, if you hit the brain or spine, it's going to drop. The blood's not going to matter. You're going to see it piled up. But if you get this blood and you don't see it drop, then you pretty much know you got a bone or a flesh hit. All right, here we go. We're going for a 160 yard shot and we have to hit the uh, space button. No, not the space button. I'm thinking of what to hit in my mind, but I said the wrong thing. You have to hit the shift button, the shift button. Remember shift equals hold breath. Shift equals hold breath. Franco wants to keep his Whoa. skills sharp, but 200 yards is way too far. For How's that too far? I think we hit good. I think that was a good shot. It looked perfect to me. If that's 160, we're zeroed in for 160. It should have been perfect. I think it was perfect because now it's saying to go for the 218 yard shot. So let's zero in for 218 and we'll take a shot on this one. Like there's a Dude, that there. shot was money. <laughs> I am absolutely in love with this game. Everything about it so far is just so impressive to me. Check a forgotten note. What's my forgotten note? There we go. Hey Wallace, don't forget to take care of the badgers wreaking havoc behind the lodge. Sincerely, myself. You forgetful geezer. I can definitely help out with that. <laughs> we can definitely help out with that. All right, so let's get to the map. There's got to be a button to get to the map. It's not M. I wonder if what does eight do here? Nine. Does do any of these do anything here? No. All right. So until I figure out a way to enter the map, we have to go like this. So we got to go here and the badgers are probably going to be out here somewhere. Actually, it's Calamity. I don't know why I said Calamity. Um, but here's our stand right here coming up right in front of us. Look at this nice little opening there. Here we go. Whoa, I see something running. Oh, I bet that's the badger. I kind of. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Holy look at them all. Wow. Well, looks like we're going to get some good practice in here. All right, here we go. We're in the stand. Let's climb up here and see what they want us to do. But I got a pretty good feeling. I know what they want us to do. So many burrows. So many burrows. That's, that's unusual. unusual. Badgers are definitely, definitely overpopulated in this area. area. So my, oh yeah, shoot the badger. Kind of figured that's what you guys wanted us to do here. And what are we zeroed in for? 218, yeah. So we got to zero back in for about 50 yards probably. Dude, this is going to be super, super difficult. Do I have to be in this stand? Like in particular? Holy, I've been recording for an hour now. Oh my God. This game is so fun that I haven't stopped recording in an hour. That's rare. I don't remember the last time I've recorded for an hour straight like this before. Wow. Oh my God. We got eyes on one right there. We finally got eyes on one coming in. Here he comes. He's 50 yards out right there. Oh 
No shot yet. He's getting really close, actually. There it is. Whoa. I actually hit the stand up button, but luckily I'm standing up already. <laughs> Drilled him. Perfect shot. He's down right there. All right, we got him. I'm going to have to get used to that. Spacebar is not for holding your breath. Especially if I'm crouched and then I hit spacebar, it's really, really bad. But another bad thing is, is that it's the uh, jump button too. The good thing is though, I don't think you can jump if you're actually in the, the uh, zoomed in mode. So press R for reloading. If you run out of ammunition, all you need to do is visit the storage, the lodge, or your vehicle. Okay, that's cool. Your ammunition will automatically be refilled and for free. That's even cooler. And we'll pull you are carrying all the ammunition with your firearms at all times. No ammunition management is necessary. So you never need to make sure you have ammunition in your rifle. It's just always there as long as you hit the reload button. All that you have to take care of is refilling the ammo pool once it has been depleted. Yep, that's the reload button. That is so awesome. Animal leaves a blood trail after every single shot. The color and amount of blood can tell you a lot of where the shot placement was. The color of the blood will tell you we already looked at all this stuff here. Yep. Whoa, what do we got out here? Oh, I never hit the reload button. We got more badgers though. Check this out. How many times did I shoot? Oh, smoked. <laughs> That's what's up. Come on, we got one more running. Where's he going? Where's he going? I think we hit him. Nope, maybe not. That's all right. We got two. All we need is one. Well, we got more coming in here. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, drilled him. Another one. Old Pop's going to be happy now. <laughs> We're taking care of all this badger problems up here. All right, empty. So we got to reload. Remember to reload from now on. All right, let's get down there and pick up this badger. And see what else we're supposed to do after that. Oh, perfect shot going right to the heart. Look at that. Surprisingly. Oh my God. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. The bullet went straight through. That badger. Straight through. You can see the heart is right there. And I think we, yeah, from that angle there, you can see we went right over the top of the heart, just barely. But I mean, absolutely smoked that badger. What a perfect shot. Oh no, we did hit the heart. Partial heart. Oh, look at this. So we hit all of flesh, all of lung, and just barely nicked the heart. Harvest one badger. Supposed to find another one? Well, guess what? We already shot two more. Haha. <laughs> How am I supposed to find it though? It was up here, right? Well, I guess we'll just try and get another one. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. We'll just get another one. Oh, there's the blood. Check that out. See how it's like bright pink? That's good blood. Pink. Air bubbles. That means it's going to go down instantly. From now to 54 yards, we're going to find it down. Obviously, it's laying right here, but... Ended up getting a quartering double lung shot. Or maybe just one lung. Yeah, we only got one lung, it looks like. Straight through. Alright, guys, guess what? Now we're supposed to buy the Remington 783 bolt action rifle, which is much more suitable for a deer hunt. So let's head over to the lodge and go buy the Remington 783 bolt action rifle. Never heard of that, but we're about to find out what in the heck it is. 783, huh? All right. Well, let's go find it. So we got to go to the computer over here, I believe, right? Shop. Yep. 
There it is. 783. It's going to cost 1,040 coins. So we'll buy that. And now we own the 783 Remington bolt action rifle. Let's see. Oh, car. Oh, dude, look how many different colors there are. We got green, blue, and yellow. I think we're actually going to choose this really cool looking blue. I like that a lot. Let's choose that. Definitely. All right. So now we got our Jeep. Now we just got to get out there. Go find it. All right. Now I have headphones on. Whoa, dude. No way. No freaking way. I mean, how cool. Okay. Are you kidding me? We are seriously going to make it up this hill. This is absolutely unbelievable. This is so cool. I feel like we're playing one of those uh, mud running games, you know? Dude, that's so cool. Do you realize how steep this is? And we're almost climbing up it. Whoa, we're about to do some off-road here. Hold on to your horses. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, that was a major, major rip. Luckily, we have a brush guard on the front. There we go. Much more open. Whoa. Some of these spots are pretty, pretty close quarters here. I don't even know if we could fit through there. If we go slow and steady, we can fit. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. We spooked some animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> I was having so much fun driving this. I was having so much fun driving. <laughs> I forgot how close we actually were to our marker here, which is right in front of us. Only 800 yards. All right. Let's see. So there's our marker. Let's remove that. All those hunting lessons from grandpa. All right, here we go. We're going to harvest a mule deer or a white tailed deer. And there are a ton of bucks. And that is a beautiful buck. Holy. All right, I'm going to check the hunter sense so I can see how big this one is. Mm, I can't quite spot it. You know, it's big when he sees you from 400 yards away. You know he's big. Man, that's awesome. All right. Oh, look at that. We got some tracks here as well. Let's find out what it is so we know what kind of deer those are. I know this is not tracks, but I don't really know like what you would call it to be proper. Scat. Oh, mule deer. Okay. I'm going to call it scat. All right. Let's work our way over here and try and close the distance on this beautiful buck. I'm pretty sure that's a muley. Based off the width and the tine height, it looks to be a giant muley buck. The wind is not bad too. The wind is actually blowing uh, kind of crossways, but for the most part, it's blowing back into our face, which is going to help us to get close enough to this buck. Oh, that's a nice buck. But that is a giant. That's definitely the biggest buck. It's a mature and it's a two star mature. That's another mature two star mature. So I guess they're both pretty nice. Oh, that's another good one too. I actually might go for this one. I can't tell how big it is though. There's an adult female. Adult mule deer. I mean, that's definitely the biggest one. But he's not at a very good angle for a shot. All right, guys. So we're coming up on the backside of this river here. And I'm thinking we should be at a good vantage point to be able to see where these bucks are going to come out. We got some good thick cover. Oh, what is that? What is that? There's a muley doe right there. But that is definitely going to be the other big buck that we were looking for right there. 180 yards out from us. He's in a bit of brush. But we could definitely make this shot if we slide over a little bit more. And I think we're to do... Oh, hold up. What is that one now? That actually might be the giant. I'm so confused. It's hard to tell. But that buck there appears to definitely be the biggest buck of this herd. So I think we might just go for him. 
He's sitting out there at 180 yards. We're going to check 200 yards. Okay, so now we have our hunter sent on. You can see we're going to get pretty much like no bullet drop. So I'm going to turn that off. And that buck is just a little bit behind some brush. But that should be good there. Smoked him. What a nice shot. That buck shouldn't be going for. And that right there is exactly what we're looking for. Bright red blood. It's going to be pink, full of air bubbles, and that thing shouldn't be going too far. Now we just got to figure out where it went next. All right, we got some more blood over here. This is super, super cool. Do you guys see how awesome this is here? Now I wish I could figure out a way to kind of go like medium speed. But I haven't figured it out yet. Nonetheless, we got more blood here. Good blood. It ran out through here. I'm thinking we definitely only got a single lung. Because we probably hit the shoulder. But we got blood there, blood there, and blood there. Alright, let's pick up the pace here a little bit and try and catch up. Let's see what we got. Medium amount of blood. Good blood there. Looks like pheasant feathers there. Here's some more blood. I wonder what in the heck we hit on this deer. There's some blood. And there's a buck. There's a big buck down right here, guys. Heck yeah, we found him. All right. There's our wide buck down. Oh my God. He ran a long ways. But we had good blood. So I'm wondering where in the heck we hit this thing. Absolute perfect money shot. Couldn't have been any more perfect. But... I don't exactly understand why it hardly bled at all. There was a shot, top of shoulder. Shot was 185 yards out. And he was slightly quartering away. I guess maybe because we hit a little bit of the back of the lung maybe, potentially? I, I honestly don't quite understand that shot it's double lung i guess this is why right here so we hit both lungs but we hit towards a little bit towards the back and upper part so it didn't complete or it didn't give us a full amount of damage from the lungs on either one of them i don't know what this little dot here means but all right now we're gonna find out exactly where the entry for the bullet hit on this buck here it comes here it comes here it comes now we just hit the flesh busting through the rib cage quartering away a little bit and we're entering the first lung and now we're entering the second lung going straight through and that's it so yeah i mean the exit on this bullet here was pretty decent. I don't know. I just, uh, guess I don't quite understand why it said only medium. Oh, it is showing single lung. Okay. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hunting rating of five star trophy rating of two star. And that buck ran. How far did it run? Let's see. Well, last time we scored our buck and it scored 321. So this buck here scores two. Uh, <clears throat> well, last time we scored our buck and it scored 321. So this one scores 317. So this one's a little bit smaller. 
But what I'm trying to figure out, this one ran 150 yards. Last time we shot it in the liver and just nicked the lung, and that buck only went like 60 yards. This time we hit potentially double lung, and it ran 150 yards. This one weighed 358 pounds, minus two pounds of blood. So it lost way more blood. The last one only lost a pound of blood. This one lost 2.6 pounds. But we're going to get 532 coins for this buck. So we'll definitely sell him. And yeah, I guess in order to get full double lung, you have to have this whole thing highlighted in gray or tan color, whatever color that is. And we only have three quarters here and then here, like not quite three quarters. So they took this plus this and it equaled one lung. But man, that was one of the most difficult track jobs that we've done by far in quite a while. And honestly, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I uh, hope you're super excited to play this amazing, absolutely incredible, super, super fun game called Way of the Hunter. Because I can be honest, and I've never had this much fun playing a game the first time ever. Like everything about it is just so realistic, so fun. Even the sound of the Jeep, I mean, the sound of the bullet going off, like the fact that we have bullet cams now. It shows exactly where you hit. And the train is just absolutely stunning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pre-version of the early access way of the hunter. But that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.